So here, soft and hard magnetic material are mainly divided. Suppose here, this is hard magnetic material. Okay, here it is a hard magnetic material. So how they are divided depends on hysteresis curve. Depends on hysteresis curve. Suppose hysteresis curve is mainly uh, mainly you can say easy or you can write abiding of soft magnetic material and hard magnetic material. Okay. In this soft magnetic material, if you apply some external magnetic field or external magnetic force, material easily magnetize. Okay, they will get easily magnetization. Okay, easily magnetize. Suppose uh, early, uh, in childhood days we used to do one experiment. Suppose if you take any magnet, if you uh, rub with uh, other any iron uh, rod or something like that, that iron uh, uh, object also used to attract some other uh, iron, right? Isn't it? Have you done this experiment? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whenever we rough, uh, we rough. Uh, if you take any magnet and if you rough, uh, rub on the uh, iron or any iron element, after some time that iron also attracts some other iron. Why? Because this we are applying external magnetic field so that the object, whatever that iron element is getting magnetization. That is, is magnetizing. Okay. That's why that is getting a nature of magnetic material. Okay. Magnetic material. That's why it is attracting other elements. Okay. Here also, if you apply external magnet, the material is easily magnetized here. Okay. If you remove this magnetic field, then easily demagnetize. Okay, this is easily magnetizing and demagnetizing. Okay, magnetizing and demagnetizing. Okay, magnetizing. This is one important point. You have first you have to write what is soft magnetic material means. If you apply some external magnetic field, that material will easily magnetizing or the material easily getting magnetization or once you remove this external magnetic field, that is easily demagnetizing. Okay, magnetic field, they are lasting magnetic field. Okay, so here in hard magnetic material, if you apply some external magnetic field the, uh, to some any object or any material here, this is uh, very difficulty, very hardly, very hardly magnetizing, very hardly magnetizing, magnetizing. Okay. Or if you remove this magnetic field, they are very hardly demagnetizing. Okay, demagnetizing. That is the difference. Main difference. First, if they ask question, first you have to write this question. If you apply soft magnet, if you apply external magnetic field, the object. If you apply some external magnetic field on any material, that material easily magnetizing. Once you remove external magnetic field, that is easily demagnetizing. That is soft magnetic material. Okay. So in the question only you have answer. Just you think soft and hard. Hard means difficult. Soft means easy. Okay, that's it. So here hard means when you apply some external magnetic field on some particular material or element, this material is very difficult to magnetize. Or when you remove this external field, also very difficult to demagnetize. Okay, that is the difference. Okay. So here if you see one more very very important properties, hysteresis curve. Here. So in soft magnetic uh, material, the hysteresis curve area is very less. Okay, hysteresis curve area is very less, okay, like this. So here in hard magnetic material, the area is very large. This area, this all, this one, what we are calling hysteresis curve, and the a uh, area under the curve is we are calling uh, hysteresis area. Okay, this area is large here. Okay, for hard magnetic material, this area is small for soft magnetic material okay so these are the main two very very important differences without writing these two you will not get the marks okay so after that here one more uh, some example uh, here here also you can write here uh, in hard magnetic material the magnetostatic energy is last okay in soft it is small okay or less okay here permeability susceptibility are small in hard magnetic material this susceptibility and permeability is large here and here permeability susceptibility and permeability is small here okay so here eddy current losses are more because this hysteresis area always indicate the loss in a 
magnetic material if area is large means losses are so high if area is small means losses also small loss also small okay that is the one more difference okay after that you can write some examples here copper nickel cobalt alloys here mainly alloys alloys means mixing of a two three elements okay copper nickel cobalt here iron nickel aluminium okay alloys these are the some alloys you will get uh, okay here examples are some ferrites and garnite iron silicon alloys and ferrous nickel alloys okay ferrites okay these are the some examples okay where you will use this one soft magnetic materials will be used in missionaries and transformer cores and also switching circuits and micro isolators and matrix storage of computers if they ask uh, write the applications of any magnetic field you can write these applications okay so this hard magnetic material they are using permanent magnets because they are getting very difficulty but when you remove external magnetic field also they are not easily demagnetizing they are not losing magnetic properties that's why we are using in permanent magnetic field and also magnetic detectors microphones magnetic uh, separators these are the some uh, uses okay you write these differences okay so after that this is completed okay is it clear to you guys